Hey YouTube, it's a Substance Project, I'm Jody. Recently I've become more disciplined about paying attention to what's in my food, so I've been reading food labels a lot more closely. My friend who's doing a clean eating program has really helped me become more aware of all the additives and preservatives that are in our food. And what prompted this post was actually an email that I received from 7th Generation. Yep, that's the company that makes diapers and wipes and all those earth-friendly cleaning products. They did a series by Sarah Coleman, a nurse, called Think Outside the Box. And Sarah Coleman wrote a series of posts on food. And one of the posts talked about hidden sugars in food. And so today I wanna to focus on sugars in your food. And then my next post will be about reading food labels. I'll share with you seven tricks to becoming more adept at reading food labels. So stay with me and hopefully we'll all learn something. So a few quick facts about sugar. In 1820, Americans consumed less than five pounds of sugar per year. Now we consume about 130 pounds of sugar per year. Now the American Heart Association recommends that we consume only about nine and a half teaspoons of of sugar per day. The average adult consumes about 22 teaspoons of sugar per day and the average child consumes about 32 teaspoons of sugar per day. Now it should be noted that Americans aren't dumping pounds of sugar over their breakfast, lunch, and dinners every day. But what's happening is food companies have realized that we like sweet things, we like the taste. So they're finding clever ways of adding it into food. And oftentimes we don't think that there's added sugar because we may look at the label and we don't see sugar, but sugar has many different names and I'm going to share all those names with you in a moment. It goes without saying that there are all sorts of dangers to eating too much sugar. Scientists have linked sugar consumption to obesity, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, cellular damage, autoimmune diseases, the list goes on and on and on. All right, we get sugar's bad, we get that they're hiding it in our foods, how do we spot it? So on to the fun part. We know that most sugars end in O's, the letters O-S-E, and most of us probably know that high fructose corn syrup on a label means it's sugar. If we see sucrose, fructose, maltose, dextrose, all those ending in O-S-E, those are sugars, and those are all going to do the same things as a teaspoon of actual sugar does in your bodies. But there are many, many other hidden sugars in your food. I put up a posting on the screen in just a moment so you can see all of these sugars that can be hidden in your food. If you're at the supermarket looking to see if there's any added sugars, you don't want to be looking just for the high fructose corn syrup or any of those words ending in O-S-E. You also want to be looking for all of these ingredients. So have fun looking at the supermarket, watch out for those sugars, and stay tuned for my post next week when I talk about the seven tricks for reading food labels. Thanks for watching.